Okay, guys, for this week's questions, I'm going to have you guys do, uh, have you make predictions about what's going to happen next for Wednesday's assignment and Friday's assignment. We did predictions earlier this year, uh, but I thought it'd be good for us to review and have you do some questions on that again. So a couple things here when making predictions. So when you make a prediction, what you want to do is when you think about what might happen next in the reading passage, you are making a prediction. Making a prediction is a way of using clues from a reading passage as well as things you might already know. And that'll help you guess for things later. It'll help to make a good guess about what might happen next in the story, which you're going to be doing for lemons. Um, some clues you want to think about when making predictions. Uh, clues are often in the title of the reading passage. When you read the title and then you make a prediction about what you might be reading about. In your case, the majority of your clues are going to be taking place in details from the reading passage. Details about the things characters do and say it will often help you make a prediction about what they might do or say later in the story. And you could even think back to earlier in the story to how some of the characters have acted. This clue obviously is not going to help you too much with this one because there are no pictures in the text. Clues are often in the pictures included with a passage. Pictures often show something that is happening or will happen soon. So for obviously for other books you're reading, that would help you with making a prediction. Something to do to help you with predictions is to ask yourself, what do I already know about the things I am reading about? So in terms of the characters, Tobin, Lem, Charlie, think about the things that have happened already within the story and that might help you with making predictions. Okay? As always, if you guys have any questions about anything, please feel free to reach out.